was actually out storm chasing today. Met up with John Fagan earlier, but unfortunately it was a bit of a bust. No storms happened, at least not at this point in time anyway. Sunny skies, blue, lovely and warm. But since I was in the area, Fermanagh I decided to shoot across into the, the Tyrone border. And I'm outside Five Mile Town, a very famous location. I don't know how to pronounce it, it's either Conin or the Conin, but I think it's Conin. Uh, and this area behind me here, you can see an abandoned house over here on the hill. This is the most famous haunted house in Ireland. The famous Cunion Poltergeist House. Crazy stuff went on here, a severe Poltergeist case, very well documented. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video showcasing some of the histories. You can read it if you're interested in this kind of thing. But uh, it used to be hidden within a woods, like, like over here, just with dense trees. Usually hard to find and if she, unless you lived in a local area. If the trees have been cut down now, the house sticks out like a sore thumb. You can still see it, its remains. The family actually had to leave the house, it was so badly haunted. They went to America and apparently, the, the as the story goes, the Pope guys followed them to America and haunted them there too. So it's a legendary place, absolutely legendary. Um, I've seen a few changes here. There's a barrier around the proximity of the house there. Stopping people going inside by the looks of things. And there seems to be a mobile home or something on the side of it from what I can make out here. So I'm not sure what's going on. This wasn't there before. Um, maybe someone has bought over the land or something like that. I don't know. But I'm thinking of doing it. I'm going to put the drone up here. Do a flight around the house. Check it out. Uh, so you can show you what it's like. It's pretty cool. I don't think I'll be allowed into it. But I might take a walk up through the marshland. Have a have a peek with the GoPro here. See what it's like. So. Okay, I'm going to put the drone. It's pretty windy here, but it's well within the parameters of the Mavic 2, so I'm going to have a flight now. Okay, enjoy this one.
Okay, just got the drone up there, got a flight in around the famous house from stills and video. All went well despite the wind. Met a nice family there who were out exploring it, saw me with the drone and they were happy enough to let me film away while they walked around the place. They went around, checked it out, uh, but they couldn't get inside, so I'm going to have a look here myself and just to show you what it's like. A lot better now that the trees are cut down. It's not as scary. Beforehand, it just be deep in the woods, and I was quite intimidated. But it's hard to imagine such a sunny day as this. The amount of terror this caused in a family that lived here years ago. Um, become legend worldwide, actually. This was a legitimate haunting. Again, Google it and uh, read the case and see for yourself. Okay, I'm going to switch around here now. Okay, the barricade is up for safety reasons. People must be messing around in it. A lot of knocking and rapping in there and floating. <laughs> Pity about the wind here at the minute because uh, if it was a camera day, you could listen to my video and maybe I'd pick up some EVPs, who knows. Yeah, they've boarded that up in here. Switch the narrow field of view here, the wide field of view. Right, so that's it. It's a real pity you can't get inside it. It's barricaded up pretty well. I do see one way in, but it involves a lot of climbing and moving, and it's not really worth it. So, those barriers are up for a reason for safety. So. But I thought I'd show it to you anyway, something different for the channel. Famous haunted location. Lovely area though, despite the bad history. Forests and mountains, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful day too. Right, I'm going to make my way back and head home. No luck with storm chasing today. Oh, this ground's a bit dodgy around here. No luck chasing today so far that I'm aware of, so... But I got to film this here with a drone and I got to get some aerial footage of a nice church in the same area which will probably be on another video so it wasn't so bad after all, two flights in, some good vitamin D, good sunshine, lovely day and there's a slight chance of more storms later in the week and if all goes well and nature behaves itself maybe we'll get something cool then storm season has begun in this country and for those of you who follow my YouTube channel you might be wondering what I'm talking about. You see a lot of my drone footage on there. And of various landscapes, weather scenes, ships, everything really. But my channel, heart and core, is nature. It's uh, the night sky, it's the aurora, astronomy, thunderstorms, weather, atmospheric optics, photography, time-lapse photography of all of the above. So, 
We're in storm season here now in Northern Ireland. Things are pretty quiet, but some instability this week, so I'm going to see what I can get out of it, and then we'll see what happens after that. So we're looking forward to a good storm season of photography, video, and time lapsing, and plenty of drone footage in between. And if a bit of luck, I'll get to use the drone on storms as well, get some aerial storm structure. That's the plan this year to get an aerial perspective on storm clouds, good high resolution pictures, maybe even some panoramas, or even a hyperlapse. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Check it out. Thumbs up and all that there. If you like this kind of stuff, let me know. I might do more of these adventures, sort of showing you on location. Uh, how I go about filming with the drone and the adventures I have and stuff. Normally I don't get a chance to do that because it just takes so much time and getting on location and filming is the, is the hard part. It's very time consuming. So to do this kind of vlog stuff, it's a lot harder. But if you like it, let me know. I'll do more. Right, I need to get back to the house and you can shave and some nice dinner. Thanks for watching.